Hey guys, today we're going to talk about halter training your market lambs, your club lambs, and how to do that. We're going to go straight from how to put the halter on to how to tie your animal. We're going to talk about the distance of tying that animal. We're going to talk about what you actually do to be able to get that lamb halter trained on the fence and get them really ready for the next step of showing. This basic is a, is a fundamental of training. It's really important. It's a basic. It's a foundation. It's something you have to do at the beginning and you got to do it well. And so doing it right is a really great um, way to start out your show year and it will make have an impact on everything else down the line in terms of training that animal. So uh, that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm going to go over a lot of detail of what's really going to help you and how you can do that in a way that's really good. We're just going to go straight out into the barn. I'm going to show you some videos of me working with some different sheep. I have a couple of ewe lambs that I grabbed out um, and uh, both of them are not super well trained but you can see that they catch on really fast. Some of them, these, both of these are not super stubborn. They're more uh, flighty type sheep and so um, you're not able to see a more of the stubborn sheep training um, because of that. And then I also have a dwarf lamb that he's just a really short uh, muscular lamb, um, really cute, um, but he's um, just a little different in that way in terms of a show lamb. But he's going to be in one of the videos, so you'll see a couple different sheep and how they react to the fence and what they do, and that'll kind of give you an idea of how you can train your lamb. So um, let's dive into it, guys. All right, guys, so what is halter training? Halter training is teaching that lamb that the halter is stopping them, it's keeping them where they are. And so it's, it, it starts by just tying them to the fence like this little guy and just letting them kind of move around and figure out what is this halter, um, what can I do, you know, they'll pull on it, they'll maybe jump a little bit, they'll move around and they'll figure out that the halter is, has them constrained and that they need to stand and respect it. Um, so that's the first step of training right there. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna show you, we're gonna talk about how you put that halter on your lamb and um, so that you can see how it's done and you can do it correctly. It is very important that you put the halter on your lambs correctly so that it doesn't um, get up in their eyes or get down too low on their throat. And so here you go, here's the lamb looking at you. We're gonna loosen up the halter. This is how you take it off, right? You're taking off the bottom part underneath the jaw and then you're pulling it up over the ears backwards, right? Now to put it on, we're going to put it on the nose first, okay? Slipping the thickest part over the top of the nose, the ridge of the nose, and then sliding the nose piece down if you need to, so you can slip it underneath both ears, okay? The part going around the back of the head needs to be underneath both ears, and then you tighten down the part underneath the chin, okay? This is very, very important. You need to make sure that the part coming out underneath the chin is the part you hold. That's the, the handle, the leash, the, um, the lead rope part, right? Is that part coming out underneath the chin, okay? Very, very important so that that lamb has that on correctly and it doesn't get up in the eyes, okay? So we'll show that one more time so you can see how that is done and watch that so you can make sure and get it right. And then after you get the halter on, of course, we want to look at the height of tying that halter up and uh, how to tie that up with a quick release knot. All right, so we're going to look at a wilder ewe lamb. She's uh, not as well trained as the little dwarf guy we were looking at. And um, when I tie her up, she's tied up in a better place here than he was. This is uh, tied up right to the height of her shoulder. As you can tell, that's where we want it. We want them to be able to get down on their knees or jump um, and not hurt their neck because when you bring these babies home, sometimes they're really wild and crazy um, like this ewe lamb is. And so when we tie them up for the first time, then they really have no idea what the halter is and sometimes they just throw a complete fit, right? So this is when, this is the bat, this is the, bad example, right, of a halter too long. So she has too much freedom. And then right here we can see this one is too close. She doesn't have enough freedom. If she fell down or she jumped or she started going crazy on you, 
uh, you would need to untie that really quickly. So having enough halter so that they can get down on their knees and jump without it being dangerous um, is good. Okay, so again, this is the correct length right here. And this is a good halter length that's tied at about her shoulder height. And she can she can move around and throw a fit and it's not going to hurt her. It's just going to teach her some good lessons about the halter. And we can just move around her just like I'm doing in this video and get her to move around and explore the halter and learn what it does and how she needs to behave on that halter. And so that's how we do halter training. And as you can see, she's having her little fit. And that's okay because she'll learn pretty quickly. All right, so this is the quick release knot. I think I said it was a slip knot. It's a quick release knot. You're going to wrap it around the place you're going to tie the animal up. Okay, the part of the halter in my left hand there is the uh, part of the halter that's hooked to the lamb's face, right? And then the rest of the halter we're wrapping around the fence. You're going to make a circle around, and then you're going to create a loop with your left hand there and stick that loop through the other circle, okay? So we're going around the fence. We're making a circle, as you can see. Right, and then we're going to go through that circle with a loop. All right, and we're going to pull that loop tight, and then you can continue to put loops through this circle in my right hand. You can reach through and grab and pull another little loop through, okay, and then you can pull a loop through that loop. This just keeps it so that if the lamb steps on this, this quick release knot doesn't completely untie them. And I'll show you how that works as well. So we're just going to leave it like that, and then when you grab the tail end of the halter that's when it will release, okay? Just like that. Just one pull will release the entire halter, okay? And you can watch the full thing one more time. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap it back around, making a loop, putting a loop through that, and continuing to make it more secure just by looping it through. These extra loops you don't have to do, but it gets the rest of the halter off the ground um, as a safety measure. One thing you can do there is you can also take the tail end and put that through the uh, last loop. I'm sorry, here. We'll stick it through that last loop right there, and then that's kind of a safety feature. And then you just have to make sure you remember to take it out of that loop before you pull it to release the halter, or it won't work, right? That'll help you out. That's how you do the slip knot. I hope that uh, helps you guys today. And then after that, you're going to learn and you're going to begin touching them and getting them used to you being there with them while they're tied. So they're learning not only to not fight the halter, but not to fight you. Let you touch them, let you handle them, let you get your hands on them, pick up their legs maybe. Um, and just, just touching them so they're getting used to a person being there and a person being with them. Alright guys, uh, you're just going to be out with your lambs. You're just going to touch them like this. You're just going to be lifting legs. You know, just like that, moving down the lamb, lifting up back legs, anything that gets that animal used to you being there and them just used to standing still. And you'll notice he kind of moves around. He wants to get away. He's not comfortable. He just needs to get used to people and get comfortable with people. And then you practicing picking up those legs the exact way you should, high on the front leg, up on that forearm. Uh, up there above the black if they have uh, black legs and a white body um, and then just touching them all over finding areas they don't like being touched and touching them there more just getting them used to being used to people right um, and that's kind of the first part of that and then you're going to practice holding their head you tip your hand over on the opposite side of their face like that and then you practice lifting their legs while holding their head right so things like that are really helpful they're still tied up, you still have lots of control, but you're practicing lifting those legs, you're practicing having them lean, you're practicing touching their body to keep them balanced, right? This is a huge part of showmanship is touching their, um, their body as well to keep them balanced before you lift up legs. Um, so watch how uh, the always touching a shoulder or a hip before we're lifting up a new leg. Um, I guess not always, but a lot of the time. And then again, we're just touching and getting him used to it. So spending time, guys. The more time you spend with these animals, the more different things you do, the more comfortable they're, they're, the more comfortable they're going to be. And then 
everything you do on show day, you're going to be the most familiar person there. So that's what uh, that's what you do to train your lamb, guys. I hope this helped you today, and um, hope to see you in more videos. Be sure and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.